I want to show y'all something. I've got a PPG throttle graveyard. We're going to look through here and discuss some throttle talk. What makes a good one? What makes a bad one? What I like? What I don't like? I really prepped the area, didn't I? Okay. Let's just dump them out see what we're working with here. Let's start with my least favorite throttle and why. So this is Parajet's offering to the throttle world. What do I like about it? It's got a nice cruise control. That's it. That's the end of my likes. The cons, all right? When you put it in your hand, I cannot connect my thumb and my forefinger with any sort of force. Now, if I had longer hands, maybe, but I have pretty long damn fingers, right? The actual throttle itself, not a super difficult thing to operate, but it does get in the way. You can easily get a toggle underneath it. It does sort of push out, but... You could run into a toggle snag that prevents you from going full power. Kill switch is easily accessible. I guess that's the starter if you had a starter. Something else I don't like about it is the wire comes straight out instead of paralleling your arm, the control cable. It, it takes up your entire hand. It basically makes you one-handed. You don't have your right hand anymore if you're wearing this throttle. And I guess that's why they have a really nice cruise control so you can set it, throw it down, and then do whatever in the hell else you're gonna do with your hands. So, graveyard. Blackhawk. What do I like about this Blackhawk throttle? It's got a really nice strap. It goes on very securely. It's comfortable. It, I can touch my finger and my thumb. The trigger does not get in the way of this finger's actuation. I can, I can operate this independently of that. Now I have long hands and it's so much gap between, and I like a gap here. I like a gap here so that you can have a toggle behind it go full power and not have the throttle, I mean the toggle, impede the motion of the trigger here. So you want to get behind the trigger so that it doesn't bite the toggle and prevent a full power application. Because if you need full power, sometimes you need full power, if you know what I'm saying. I like to be able to actuate my finger and my thumb together. It's slightly big. If I had short fingers, like I might not could get a good grip out here on the end of the trigger to, to pull it. So it's got a good throw. Dislike. It also comes out to the side. It doesn't parallel my arm as far as the, the direction of the cable. It's a little bulky. It doesn't have to be this big. I think they could get away with a smaller one. It's got an easily accessible kill switch. It's also easy to protect. You want your kill switch if you don't want to hit it. Like if I accidentally push it into a, you know, a riser or my harness if I'm making an adjustment. If it's protruding out real far, it makes it easy to accidentally hit the kill switch. This one is not. This one is set level. It's easy to access. It's easy to protect. Those are two things that you want to do with your kill switch, either protect it or access it. If it's protruding, it's harder to do both. It's, it's harder to protect and it's harder to access. So I actually wore this one for a while. It received damage on a propeller due to a netting failure and it damaged the cable. So graveyard. This is a homemade rig. All right, I made this one for an old homemade project and it has a lot of things I like. It's got a low profile, the button I've taken out, but it was easily accessible, easy to protect as well. I could prevent it from hitting by just putting my thumb there. I used a magnetic strap for easy egress in case I wanted to let go. It holds it onto my hand. The thing I didn't like is I thought I was gonna have all these cool ass switches and lights and gauges, but the weight of the cable actually turned it funny in my hand and it didn't work. Had a nice cruise control, non-snaggy with a knurled knob. I made all this thing custom from scratch, but it was how I liked it. I didn't leave a very big gap for the toggle back there. This was before I realized what I liked, but it works. The ergonomics are good. I can easily get to my fingers. They're not in the way. See how much I can, I can grab trim tabs. I can grab lines. I can do things with this hand if it's a low profile throttle. That's something I did like about it. Ultimately, graveyard. Polini. Polini's probably one of the, and I took the strap off of this one, it's probably one, if I was going to pick a throttle that was available in the marketplace outside of Air Conception, which I'm getting there, spoiler alert, Air Conception style is my favorite. This one's probably my second favorite. It has a little gap in there. You can pinch the toggle if you, if you got it adjusted so it need full power. I don't particularly like the throttles with return springs on the trigger. I like to feel what the cable's doing at the carburetor. If I have a return spring on here, I can't tell if I'm at the end of the cable or at the bottom of it. I like to feel the carburetor with my trigger. I don't like to feel a double spring on there. Now, if I want a double spring, I'll spring it at the carburetor so that it pulls harder, but I want looseness in the on the trigger here 
and I want a gap right here. Uh, it has a big place for, uh, put a mirror right there for fuel observation. The way they come, it has a highly protruding button. Makes it easy to accidentally hit. I can't protect it with my thumb or my hand. It also makes it difficult for some people to access the kill switch. Now I've taken the button out of here because it broke. It was a shitty cheap button. When I get these, the first thing I do is I take this plate right here and I slide it up so that I can pull that throttle down into my hand. It does a couple of things. It takes this trigger right here, which is in the way of this finger. So when I actuate the throttle, it, it gets in the way of my index finger. If I slide it down, it takes it out of the way and I can access my index finger and my thumb for the actions I need with that. I can throw the throttle. I can protect the kill switch or access it, either one. If this is a choice, I pick this one, ultimately graveyard. Here's another one just like it. It's still got the button on it. I've actually salvaged the uh, strap and the little plate that goes on the strap. Graveyard. This is Vitarazzi's offering to the throttle world. The only thing I like about it is this strap right here. It's a nice strap. The kill switch. It's too easy to access. Sometimes people drag lines over it. Sometimes they accidentally hit it with their thumb. It's easy to hit. It's, it's easy to protect, I guess, as well. So trade off there. But look, there's no gap under here. The trigger gets in the way of my finger. There's no way I can actuate the throttle and manipulate my finger, my index finger and my thumb. It's just in the way. If a toggle got back here, it would jam up completely and totally. I wouldn't be able to access full throttle. It does have the cable that leads straight down my arm and parallels my arm. Again, I hate these things. First thing I do is take them off, throw them in the graveyard. The throttles I like. Where's my... Here we go. Here we go. Let me show you something I like here. This throttle right here, it's just a skeleton of a throttle, but it has everything that I like. I put a strap on it after I build them. I wire them up. I use quality cables, quality wires, quality buttons, all full full board, top of the line equipment to go in there, the hardware. I set it so that it's got a little gap at the end and it's got a gap here. You notice there's a large gap right here so that my toggle can rest nicely inside of the trigger. I can have it in my hand and it's not a factor at full power. I still have plenty of room for the toggle to nest in there and it doesn't impede the throw of the machine. I can protect the switch or I can access it very easily. I can move my index finger independent of the throttle trigger. It doesn't get in the way. I can pinch my thumb and forefinger together easily. It's got everything. It's low profile, out of the way. It's an afterthought. I still have full access of my hand and I can operate the engine at the same time. It's lightweight. It also has a the line parallels my arm so it doesn't poke way out and swing around this is a 3d printed version it's basically a copy of an air conception i would bought this before they went for sale to the public and i bought a bunch of them and i wire them up myself that's it quick short video on throttles what i like what i don't and why but these are the ones i like the lower profile the better out of the way easy ergonomics a place for the toggle an easy accessible kill switch also easy to protect if you don't want to hit it it's got all the things i like so currently this is my favorite throttle in the marketplace or something similar to that would work there you go throttle graveyard tour back you go yeah, there's a little plate there's some wire blah 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 you mean it actually recorded? <laughs> Maybe I can retrieve the video after the fact. I hope you like that video. I hope you take your throttle and throw it in the graveyard if it's a piece of junk. And you get a good one that works the way it's supposed to. I hope you enjoyed that video. Subscribe for more. Much love, guys. Call out.